Okay, so here we are for another replay, this time in the tier 9 British heavy tank, the Conqueror. Now, I had a request a little while back to get some replays in the Conqueror. Um, <clears throat> obviously, I've been a bit distracted getting other stuff in, but I have finally got here and we've got some replays in the tier 9 Conqueror for you today. The first one being on Westfield with a 2 up with our buddy in the Type 4 um, rated but hated um, and there is no actual light tank on this map um, which is you know, quite good um, and there is one enemy fun police so usually I would probably go up to the sort of dunes up in the top in the Conqueror because you can get hold down and all the ridges uh, but because there's no light tank I've decided to actually do something a little bit different. It's just a little bit more risky, I think, in the Conqueror because obviously you don't have the, the best camo. But I'm going to try and play uh, this ridge at the start and try and punish anything crossing at the start if we can. So some tanks get look at, um, lit up. We spot the Pajetto. We get a shot into Pajetto. Now, we're trying to get as many shots in as we can here and, and just to punish them while possible. Uh, but like I say, I need to wait for them to get detected. It can be a little bit awkward if you're in this situation on this ridge where if you get stuck here too long and then you end up losing the other side in the dunes, you can be in a bit of a problem. If you're able to win the side on, on, on down the, the sort of uh, zero line there, uh, then you can actually push up and get up and underneath the ridge and then shoot all the guys in the, the top of the map. But you have to win this side pretty quickly. So that really involves uh, the heavy tanks on the sort of zero line actually pushing down um, to sort of clear that out and keep them detected while you can farm them. So we managed to get picked up and oh, an okay start of the game. We've lost a shot of hit points. We've got a thousand assistance and a you know, thousand damage. So a decent start to the game. And our heavy tanks are actually pushing down, uh, which is perfect because it, when they all sit at this, the, this, the, you know, at it and just camp and snipe, that's when you get in a real bit of a problem because you start to lose all the map for control. But because they're pushing down like this, it's going to force the enemy team to get detected. I can then push up and try and get shots into them. And if we can win this side, then we can then push up and get underneath the dunes. And we can use the whole dunes to sort of shoot the enemy team in the north of the map. And it doesn't matter too much if you lose that side at that point. Um, so we managed to clear out the uh, 57 heavy tank. Um, and now there's just this enemy uh, medium tank here which we need to try and deal with um, but he is getting pushed and I'm trying to then you know, slowly you know, work my way up and it looks like the enemy team are actually retreating from this position because you can see here this enemy tank is now running and we're looking to try and get shots as they leave but we've also got to be careful that we don't end up getting shot by anything which hasn't necessarily been detected but, you, know, you don't want to get hit by a nasty um, you know, TD or you know, tank destroyer there um, so we're just going to try and push up but now he is leaving we get a shot in when he when he's blind uh, this is perfect we want them to leave this location because then we can use this ridge to its full advantage trying to get shots as much in as we can as they escape putting them onto a one shot and he gets shut down by our friendly stb1 and we now kind of cleared this ridge so at this point we've cleared it in a pretty decent amount of time because now i'm just waiting to lose my spot because there is an enemy td i suspect at the top covering us so i don't want to get uh, eat a shot by that but we can then push up underneath this dunes uh, underneath this ridge and shoot the dunes at the top sort of keeping the enemy team trapped in that location um, and yeah once you've got this full dune control it's really good because you can then move across either side like I say sometimes it doesn't happen because you don't win the other side and when you don't win the other side that's when you're left in a little bit of a awkward situation as we're pushing up, we're going to try and see if we can get any shots or anything like this E75, which is uh, set on the top of the ridge. Get a nice shot in, and we can use our tank hold down and use the turret armour. The turret armour is good. You know, you've got your 10 degrees uh, gun depression, but it's not necessarily like the Super Conqueror. You can actually get penned through the gun mantle if something's got high enough uh, penetration. So you're not completely invincible. As you see there, I'll just eat a big shot there, putting us onto 1,000 hit points because you can get pen straight for that gunman if something's got high enough penetration. Um, these tanks which are in the church is a bit of a problem because it's kind of stopping me using this ridge. We get a nice shot in punishing that VZ, but the VZ is something we've got to be careful of because obviously he can potentially just double shot us now and kill us in two shots. 
uh, very quickly. So that's something we need to be wary of, that we don't get caught out in the open. We suspect that Bajetto is still there because we get it detected as we was looking at them. Uh, and we took the blind shot and yeah, there we go. Although he wasn't detected, we kind of knew he was there. This time I don't think he's there, but we're shooting anyway just in case, you know, just in case he pokes up at the right moment and we get an extra shot of damage. And this game's close, but we're starting to take a lot more control. Um, we're looking to try and get some shots here, uh, and then this uh, medium tank as he leaves, you know, being on a one shot there, or sorry, the VZ, the heavy tank. Uh, the fun police gets detected, we can try and see if we can get a nice shot into this tank, which we do blind there, putting us on to 4,600 damage. Um, and our friendly heavy tanks in the north are starting to push up on the dunes, which is going to keep these guys detected. Unfortunately, we eat a shot there, and we need to try and get safe as quickly as we can. Like I said, the guys behind the um, you know church at the bottom are our problem because it's stopping me pushing up and using the top of the ridge to get more damage. Because unfortunately, if I do so, then there's a very good chance I'm going to get shot um, and taken out of this game. So I'm just going to have to be patient really um, as much as I want to try and get up to the dunes and get more damage in um, I'm just going to have to be patient on this one so we're waiting just to see you know we can lose our spot if they do get detected because our heavy tank is pushing down on as you see we just look now that heavy tank is pushing across if he gets some side shots into the church and it might make it a bit um, easier for us to then try and work shots in but we don't want to throw a tank away because it is a very close game um, and we want to try and keep ourselves in the game as long as we can go for another blind shot there again not really thinking that one's going to happen but we thought just in case uh, we haven't got else to shoot at might as well take the chance because you never know um, if we could take out like that vz that'd be really handy but then this enemy s bar um, comes around for us uh, thankfully he's not paying attention to us and he kind of throws his tank away there and we're able to uh, pick up an extra shot of damage which is good putting us under 5,000 damage Five, oh, four enemy teams remaining. We know where three of them are. Uh, the the fun police and the VZ and the Pajetta are all down the church. So now we know where they all are. And this game's looking like it's probably secured. So I'm going to push forward now and see if we can spot them. Because then we, yeah, we've already got 2,000 assistants. If we spot that Pajetta was fairly healthy, we could potentially get quite a bit of... Um, assistance damage here to you know to help us out so this is where we are just going to push we spot the enemy um fun police there unfortunately we don't snap one in but we do spot that Vegeta at the end and you can see all you know just by spotting that guy in the open that's just giving us like another 2,000 assistance um just for that pushing just at the right time there and this game comes to an end and brings an end to the replay number one so let's just see how we finish that one off before we move on to the final replay of the video we get one kill 5,000 damage, 4,000 assistance. Only the first class there. Probably could only you know, got uh, one kill there. Uh, but we're going to move on for the final replay of the video. Okay, so here we are then for the final replay of the video. Uh, this time we are on Hidden Village. It is a tier 10 matchmaking. Um, and we're tuned up with our good buddy Jamus in the tier 9 Russian heavy tank, the STI. Um, there's no fun place in the game, which is really good for Hidden Village, especially when you're in a tank like the Conqueror. Because you can use the ridge lines uh, and get sort of hold down and try and utilise your, you know, your turret armour and your 10 degrees of gun depression. And your fast moving uh, gun there. So it's a little bit of a, a traffic jam trying to get to the location. Quite a lot of tanks in the way. Um, we're trying to work our way through the traffic to try and get to you know, the, the mid ridge the, you know, at the start and just get into like that heavy tank brawl, which this uh, replay definitely shows. It's definitely more of a up in personal uh, sort of battle, basically, which is. It's what you want really, isn't it, when you get in the game, you want to get straight in the action and just start fighting. So we're going to have to go sort of wide around this type, which is going to put me at a little bit of a risk of getting shot on the cross, because we haven't really been able to get there that quickly. But that's just a chance we're going to have to take. I don't want to get stuck here all game. I want to try and get in and get into the action. And unfortunately, I eat a shot off the Nemesis with the big gun, which is kind of put us into a bad start to the game you know losing half your hit points before you get into the fight is never ideal uh, but at least we're here now and there's tanks and we're going to try and get in and try and get some shots in so it's enemy tight was going to try and get a shot in there but we pulled back because i thought that uh, enemy heavy was going to snapshot us 
So we're going to try and get a shot now into the lower plate of the type and then pull back in, getting our first penetration shot of the game. Our friendly type 4 or type 5 is moving up to try and get behind the ridge and get some shots in. And we're trying to use that as he's you know, sort of moving in as the meat shield there to try and get some shots in while we can. Uh, want to try and get another shot into this heavy tank. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know if we pen that. I think we actually hit his track in the end, which is unfortunate. Maybe we'll get another shot of getting a shot into him. Uh, but we've got to be careful because there is a lot of guns looking at us. But we get the smallest of shots into his cupola as he moves there, which is handy because that puts him onto a one shot. Our platoon bait Jamus is actually going to move in and try and plug up that gap and stop him coming round because we're starting to get into a bit of a fight here. Um, there's definitely a lot of tanks are fighting this brawl. Enemy 58 Heavy, we get a shot into that. Very dangerous tank, a dangerous clip there. But it does have about 7 seconds or 7.5 second into clip. So we're able to, you know, if he shoots and misses, we're able to poke up and within that time get another shot in because it's not a very difficult pen for us to make. He misses, so we know we can take our time with that shot, you know, while he's having his into clip. We don't really know how many shots he's got left in the clip, unfortunately. Um, but he has backed up around that corner now. We're starting to lose tanks, and we're starting, if you notice on the mini map, getting a little bit surrounded here. The enemy team are actually pushing all the way around the base, and we've kind of lost a lot of ground. But we can't really go anywhere. We've just got to keep fighting and, and just try to hope for the best, try and kill these tanks as quickly as we can. We managed to squeeze a shot there into the tier 10 um, uh, Minto, the uh, Italian tank destroyer. Um, which is good, we confirmed another kill. Looking to try and get another shot into his 58. Manages just about to avoid his, um, that shot. I assume he's reloading, I assume he's got two shots left in the clip now, but he is pretty low health. Um, we're losing numbers, you're nine versus 13. Enemy Yag Tiger gets spotted in the open. We ricochet a shot off of our turret. We're gonna try and get another one off this Yag Tiger, trying to just force him to bounce off of our turret if we can because the enemy team are closing in behind us and we need to try and kill these tanks as fast as we can so we don't end up having to fight on two sides, getting shot from the front and getting shot from the back. It's not going to be ideal. Should be able to finish this Jagger Tiger though, confirming another kill, picking up our second kill of the game. I've now swapped to the mini map, the small map, because I need to know at this particular moment exactly where the tanks are coming from because it's going to be kind of crucial that I'm able to make minor adjustments um, to try and you know protect shots. Uh, enemy teams are coming around behind me, so I'm going to try and tuck right in and go back to back with our two mate Jammers here, um, and just try and battle our way out of this because we are quite surrounded. Uh, we're able to get a finish here in the German um, TD, but this enemy nemesis is coming in now. Uh, the one which was almost my nemesis at the start of the game, losing all those hit points, which is the only shot that um, I've actually taken so far. And we need to try and punish him. His Zuku is coming for the kill. Jamis is aiming for his tracks at this point. He just tracks him and spins him round. We're able to take him out before he's able to full send into us. Um, which is thankful because now I can eat the shots off of this uh, enemy uh, tip, uh, heavy tank which is coming in. And we're able to kill him. Uh, and starting to... You know, it's looking like it was a bit of a, a losable situation at one point. But we've now somehow turned that around. And we're in a lot stronger position. Uh, our platoon makes actually full health. So we're able to sort of go in and just try and clean up now. Um, there's three tanks remaining. Um, and we're just looking to see if we can get any shots in. I can't remember where that 58 Heavy was. So I was going to see if we can try and finish that tank off. Which would give me the top gun. Uh, which would be quite nice. I've got a possibility here. Um, of getting the, well, I don't think I'll get the Radleys, but you never know, I could get the Devastator. But we do pick up the Top Gun, getting the sixth kill. Just an enemy at Leopard remaining who is on a one shot, and we're just going to try and, you know, I suspect I'm not going to get there, but, you know, you never know. You've got to go for it. It would be nice to finish this game with a seventh kill, uh, but we've had quite a good battle, so we're just going to try and cut off that Leopard, see if we're able to get there, but I don't think we're going to have the speed. It looks like Jamis is going to take him out, and that brings us an end to the video um so let's just see how we got on so we managed to do about six thousand damage uh six kills 700 assistance two thousand blocks we get the ace tank out and we get the brothers um yeah and obviously the top gun there so uh really good um yeah really 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 enjoy the conqueror you know he's quite basic um but he's been in the game a long long time but yeah you know who doesn't like a conqueror uh, but that's it for the replay. Thank you so much for watching and thanks for your support. So, happy tanking. Enemy in sight.
Look at 